So today, a short film, hope it's going to be short, I'll, I'll try to go short, short film about Babylon Sunset. Babylon Sunset used to be called Says Alice, because we made it for Alice, it was her 21st birthday, and her brother came round, cousins of, of my husband, um, so he said, can you make Alice a perfume for her 21st, I've got £30. So I went, yeah, right then. <laughs> so, um, uh, we love him. Uh, he's a sweetie. She's a sweetie. They're all sweeties, that family. So we, uh, I, I, I set to it and um, I thought, what would be lovely for a 21st birthday? A perfume which is not for a girl, it's for a woman. Uh, just on the edge of that. Uh, I had been on this course with the lovely Karen Gilbert, and I specifically wanted to learn about synthetics because it's really quite difficult to get into that world if you haven't, you know, if you're spending your own money on it, basically. If you try and piece together your little bits. If you go into perfume school, you get an apprenticeship. The material's all there. You learn about them very slowly. Um, I learned about them very slowly, but I had to just, like, try and get my hands on little bottles of them. Karen has a great selection of them, and so I went on specifically onto her synthetics course. In fact, I went back and spent the whole week there. Um, I highly recommend Karen's courses. However, this is not about that, it's about this. But um, I made, on that course, I made this, um, a big base, a kind of 1990s style perfumery base, which is now known as the Gingerbread House. Um, bergamot to help fruits uh, you know, blend. Uh, it's got uh, one of the good old musks. It's got um, vanillin. Um, am I giving all my secrets away? No, not really. Hedione. Hedione's in almost everything. So um, so I had that ready. I had that. And I also had uh, a blend which I'd been working on called My Flowers. That's all, just My Flowers. Which was natural sandalwood, uh, honey absolute, which is not that sweet, it's just honey. Um, you can't smell sweetness, of course, you can only taste it. Uh, jasmine and rose. Jasmine and rose absolutes, of which you cannot use much because they are severely restricted in perfumery uh, because they're not as safe as the synthetics. That's another story as well. Um, so I put those together and also my, I have this favourite, this was way back, like 2010, and my favourite accords, my mandarin and grapefruit, there was grapefruit in everything I made then, and uh, raspberries. So um, I made a very kind of junior version of it with the materials that I could afford at the time, some of which were other people's blends. When I came back to it, so that's, that's actually in my original, original um, formula book, which it says at the front, I just found this, it's 28th of August, 2010, so it's nearly five years old. Um, it says, if you find this and get it back to me, I'll give you a hundred pounds, but only if it was lost. So yeah, good old me. Um, and there's a picture of a beach in Normandy where I would like to go when I make my fortune. So then on to my next formula book, I came back to this in 2013 um, and, and remade it. Uh, it's pretty similar, except now I know that what, what I use for my raspberry, I use Raspberry Leaf Absolute, which is what gives it this colour, um, this greeny, gorgeous colour, just a little bit of raspberry, raspberry Leaf Absolute in there. It smells like raspberry jam. It's amazing stuff. Uh, that, that's the coffee machine kicking off does that. Excuse it. Um, and raspberry keto, which is, it smells like uh, it's got the kind of dried raspberry bits that you get in raspberry chocolate. So that's lovely. It has as well, so there's the gingerbread house which I talked about, that really sort of uh, voluptuous 90s base, 90s when we thought we were all going to lose the shoulder pads, but it really took us another 10 years. Um, but big floral. Um, my peachy thing, the, the aldehyde uh, C14, which isn't really an aldehyde, it was just named that by the perfumers who developed it at the time to try and put other perfumers off the track, which is just hysterical. So, but it's a lactone, the peachy creamy lactone, that's in there. Um, I used one of the synthetic 
sandalwoods uh, to boost the real one because because you do um, and that is it it's really really very simple um, so we called it though it's Babylon sunset now it was says Alice and it's Babylon sunset because we sat down here and we thought what would we call it if we'd made it now because there's something about saying here's says Alice and people go oh and if you say this is Babylon sunset they go oh can you smell that and we, we, so we came back to it and thought, why is it disconnected? What can we do? Um, and, you know, Gailman renamed theirs all the time. So if it's good enough for Gailman, basically good enough for 4,160 Tuesdays. So um, what, would have we, what, what would we have called it? And so there it is with its sandals and its honey and its rose and its jasmine and its dripping luxuriousness and voluptuousness. And we thought it smells like... Hanging Gardens of Babylon as the sun goes down. So um, for a while it was sunset over Babylon and then it got, it, we forgot that about that and called it Babylon Sunset. So now it is Babylon Sunset. I've had to have a look at it because the, you know, the price of jasmine and rose these days, it has gone nuts. You know, artisan perfumers stop using up all the jasmine and rose. We need it. Um, but yes, it's, it is now Babylon sunset um, and it's you know it's for women not girls so it's not pink it's it's that's the as I said color from the raspberry leaf absolute that gives it that kind of greeniness green green amberiness it varies actually each batch there are different colors but that's normal when you're using naturals. Um, I'm gonna put some more on because like, my in-laws bought me this scarf, they're great. Um, I get more and more fond of this and we've had some hiding in the dark in the cupboard for a year and it just gets better and better. Until you open it, of course, then you've got to use it up. So there you go, we have um, Babylon Sunset. As short a film as I can imagine. Um, I'll, I might get the hang of making them shorter, but I might not. So I shall stop there, and I'll see you soon with another one.